economy, abortion, immigration, the war in Gaza, all of these are key issues in this presidential battle. But right before election day, a new unlikely flashpoint has emerged. The death of a squirrel named Peanut. How did he die? Why is his death an election issue? And why do the Republicans say that they want justice? Let's start with Peanut's story. It begins around seven years ago. His mother got hit by a car in New York City. She died. That's when a man named Mark Longo found him. He saw the accident, so he initially took in Peanut. It was supposed to be a temporary move. Mark cared for him like his own pet. This continued for about eight months after that Mark released the squirrel. He thought Peanut was well enough to survive outdoors. But that did not last very long. Peanut apparently lacked survival skills. So he returned. Mark took, took him in again and Peanut lived happily as an indoor squirrel. So the story goes. Soon the two started making videos. Peanut eating waffles. Peanut running around the house. Peanut dressed in hats. The internet loved the squirrel. And in no time, Peanut became viral. Right now, his Instagram has more than 670,000 followers. 6,70,000 followers for a squirrel. All was going well for both of them until last week. On October 30th, New York's DEC, Department of Environmental Conservation, raided Mark Longo's house. Six officers showed up. They were acting on multiple anonymous complaints. It was about unsafe housing of wildlife. So they seized Peanut the squirrel. They also took a raccoon named Fred. Now, in New York, you cannot keep a wild animal without a license, so the arrest was legal. Even Mark Longo knew that, but he decided to fight it. He hired a legal team to get them back. He also gathered more than 20,000 signatures, all asking for the return of the animals. But by November 1st, it was all in vain. The DEC announced that they had euthanized both Peanut and Fred. Why? Because of the fear of rabies, according to them, Peanut bit someone in the department, so they had to test for rabies. Living animals cannot be tested for the disease, so they had to be euthanized. Mark Longo expressed his grief. He said the DEC was cruel. He accused the agency of excessive force. The story should have ended there. But then the Republicans took note. And that's where the issue exploded. Peanut's death was not about public safety anymore. It was about democratic overreach. It turned into a symbol of government interference. Republicans chimed in on the injustice. Leading the cause was Tesla CEO Elon Musk. He posted several times about this incident, calling the government a quote-unquote killing machine. And it did not stop there. The Trump campaign then joined in. Senator Don's fired up about, about Peanut the squirrel. We were on the way down here from Cincinnati. He was like, you know, is it really the case that the Democrats murdered the Elon Musk of squirrels? And I said, yeah, it sounds like, have you seen the videos of this squirrel? Yeah. He's like, he's a genius, or he was. This is not the first time animals have featured in the presidential race or this presidential race. In September, a video from Ohio's Springfield went viral. It claimed that immigrants killed ducks from the local park for food. Springfield police dismissed these rumors. But the Republicans went to town with it, portraying Donald Trump as the Messiah with AI-generated images of him on top of a cat and even one where he's surrounded by ducks. Again, the message was simple. Immigrants did not just steal American jobs. They also stole America's pets. And Donald Trump would save them. So cats and dogs became a flashpoint back then. And now a squirrel is the headliner. It tells you what you need to know about American politics, really. Forget inflation, health care, or even foreign policy. This election has gone to the dogs, then cats and ducks, and now even squirrels. Washington is all set for a presidential battle like no other. In less than 90 days, it's either going to be him or me sitting in the Oval Office. Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. All we want is one simple thing. Get out on Tuesday. A vice president versus a former president. As we head towards election night, Vantage will be live from the heart of the action. Speaking to voters in this final stretch. I'm still very undecided. Very close presidential race. Tracking the campaigns as they make the last push. From exclusive ground reports to in-depth analysis, this is your one-stop destination for the presidential race. Join us on this special edition of Vantage, live from the White House in Washington, D.C.